I think at this point, everybody is aware of the relationship between Killian Hennessy and the Hennessy brand, fine makers of cognac. And this is a definitely a refreshing, summery, citrusy, a little vegetal release. You know, a lot of times you want to wear a fragrance that smells like a gin and tonic or it smells like a margarita or a mojito. These are the fun, casual, summery aromas that can be drinks, can also be perfumes. In this case, we're going to be taking a closer look at a fragrance that came out in 2020. I've had it since it was released. I'm not reviewing it until now for whatever reason. And this fragrance is called Roses on Ice. Definitely refreshing. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on the fragrance, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's video on Roses on Ice by Killian Paris, and I give you my in-detail thoughts on this fragrance, what it smells like, the notes, the performance, the perfumer, comparisons, all that good stuff, I do want to start things off by mentioning that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I do upload videos to this channel and I upload daily. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you learned something from today's episode or if you took something of value from today's review. So here we have a fragrance released in 2020. There are so many great Killian fragrances. I have some of them here. There's Apple Brandy on the rocks. There is Angel Share, which is an amazing sort of cinnamon, sweet, gourmand, boozy fragrance. And here you have one that is definitely on the fresher side of things. So there's rose, there's cucumber, there's citrus in it. You also get a little bit of like musk and sandalwood in the base as well. And this fragrance is composed by Frank Vogel. Now, Frank Vogel has done Santal 33 by Le Labo. You can definitely go ahead and check him out. He's done so many incredible fragrances with such a high reputation. And here you have a very sort of crisp, refreshing, vegetal type of a fragrance. I think there's a touch of juniper berry in this as well. And it's funny because the other cucumber-based fragrance that I think everybody knows about is Polo Blue by Ralph Lauren. And that fragrance, while the cucumber is in there, it's a little bit disguised in the sense that it's not the main player and there is certainly a lot of citrus to drown it out and this fragrance the star player is that cucumber with this gentle almost ethereal rose sitting underneath it i'm excited to give you my thoughts on the smell let's take a quick look at the presentation So right in the opening of this fragrance, you are going to get this really bright, juicy cucumber ingredient. And if you've ever cut into a cucumber to make little slices or wedges, you know exactly what the smell is like. It's very bright, very fresh, very summery, and it has this almost cooling sensation about it. Now, some people might not be into it in the sense that it's a little bit too literal, right? So it does smell truly like cucumbers, right? I've even heard cucumber sound salad in the past, but you are going to get this bright, cooling, refreshing, summer-esque cucumber note in the opening with a touch of citrus, a little bergamot, nothing crazy. And then you have this rose ingredient. Now, rose can be very jammy. Rose can be kind of earthy. Rose can be very, very floral. Here you have something that's very ethereal, something that's very timid, something that is not as loud or extroverted or as gregarious as some of the other rose counterparts on the market. And so you're not going to get truly a rose-based perfume although in literal terms I think it is a solid floor that's the only floral ingredient in this fragrance if I'm remembering the note breakdown correctly but the rose is not the main player right so it's kind of one of the background singers in this fragrance in the base of course clean musk, smooth sandalwood, perfect conclusion. There's something a little woodsy in here as well to sort of ground it and give it that spicy, I think it's a juniper. It gives it that spicy, almost boozy sensation. So it's kind of like booze with cucumber. And I know it was inspired by an actual drink, the name of which eludes me because I've never consumed it. But I think, you know, Killian's significant other is a huge fan of this drink. I could be 
getting that wrong or making it up, but I think I heard something to that effect before. But definitely refreshing and of course served in this vessel here that looks like a glass. It kind of looks like a whiskey glass with the exception that the liquid on the inside is much lighter, especially compared to something like Angel Share or Apple Brandy where it has more of like an ambery hue. This is really refreshing. Now, I personally really enjoy this, but I have to be in the mood to wear it. So it's not one of these like grab and go fragrances where, you know, I'll just vodka on the rocks. I can wear that stuff every single day. I think with this fragrance, I'll be in the mood to wear it like once a week or twice a week. And because it has such a literal aroma and such a realistic smell in terms of that cucumber that if I just I know I'm gonna be spending a lot of time outdoors. I know I wanna smell very natural, very unique, very enticing in a way as well, but I want, I seek that cooling sensation, if you will. This one is certainly gonna do that for me. And it's all about the type of mindset that it puts you in. Cause fragrances have the uncanny ability to do that. And it's one of the reasons why I love fragrances so much, right? They just, they lift your spirits immediately. And that's exactly what this fragrance does. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, Boy, this is a unique fragrance. I think I mentioned Polo Blue before in the review. It doesn't smell similar to Polo Blue. I use that as a frame of reference when describing the cucumber fragrances that are on the market and there aren't too many. I think there is another one by Parfum Cortana called Digitalis. Love that stuff so much, right? And so these are the types of fragrances that I really enjoy. And I really like the sort of vegetal feel that this fragrance has. And even if you think about something like Jardin du Poète by Eau de Tali, same family as this fragrance, the rose, the cucumber, that bright vegetal quality about it. Love Jardin du Poet. Also really enjoyed this fragrance. Definitely puts me in that same vibe. Although this has more cucumber, right? It's like you're ordering a salad with extra cucumber, hold the dressing. In terms of the longevity, you're gonna get a solid six to seven hours, depending on your skin type. Projection for this fragrance is great for the first hour and a half. It did start to get kind of quiet right around hour four. In terms of the versatility, Hot weather is a must. Um, perfectly unisex. I think this one will appeal to somebody who is a little bit more experienced when it comes to niche fragrances, just because it's not that designer quality that a lot of people think about. It definitely has a very unique personality about it. And in terms of the presentation, I love this presentation. I think it's something really unique that also kind of alludes to the heritage and the purpose of the brand and the Hennessy brand. My final verdict on this fragrance is if you're looking for for a refreshing summer cocktail inspired fragrance and you like the smell of cucumber and rose, you gotta try Roses on Ice by Killian Paris. I'm sorry, I'm like two years late to the party in reviewing this one, but I finally did it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it, please. It would mean so much to me. Hit the bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload these daily fragrance videos and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or if you took something of value you from today's episode. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.